Let everyone do it. I know that was a hard one. Yep. <laughs> I utterly failed at the side planks. But those, those are really hard, I know. I could do one side, but not the other. Uh, well, that reminds uh, me, we have to do the ball crushers for you next week. Oh, no. <laughs> I've, I've been shoveling snow all week, and I thought my weight, I thought I might have lost weight. Uh, no. I did not. I went back up. So I'm back to square one. Hey, that might have been muscle you put on. <laughs> yeah, I told my husband said that. I told him don't, 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 um, uh, don't uh, blow skirt up, smoke up my skirt, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'd be, I'd be very surprised if it, it might, maybe a little bit, but I don't know. You know, like it's been a couple, I don't know. I don't know. Wishful thinking, I guess, right? We'll see. Right. Uh, Rita, did you get a chance to check your blood sugar level before? Yeah, it was uh, 119 before. Okay. And now it is 89. Oh, good. Your oh. range. Perfect range. What about you, Martha? I was uh, 123 and I went up to 129. Oh, no. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's because the workout is stressful. <laughs> yeah. Tough. So, how'd you do, Dan? How was your blood sugar? Did it drop? Uh, mine is uh, it looks like it's dropping. I feel like my body takes a little while to to recuperate. Uh, yeah, after like this workout, you're gonna be if you're breathing heavy, you should be breathing heavy. It's gonna take you um, about. Five, 10 minutes for your heart rate to get back down to normal so and and does the blood sugar kind of follow that or should it automatically be happening you know your blood sugar level is changing constantly because you're working out it needs to depending on what's inside your circulation at the time before you start working out if you don't have much then it has to recruit um, blood sugar from your fat cells so then it go up that's why sometimes it goes up and sometimes it goes down but right. uh, the more majority of the time it should be going down I, I feel like a lot of times it takes a, a while for my heart rate to get back to normal after a workout uh it, 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 i don't know I, maybe it's just my body or uh, i'm not sure how that works but well um because you're you're doing this uh on average about once a week so if you were to bump it up twice a week or three times a week what that means is that your cardiovascular isn't up to par if you're taking that to get back down it's, in an athlete their heart rate goes up as soon as they get done with their working out it goes right back down right uh -oh. so cardiovascular a slow vet cardiovascular is going to make you breathe heavy and the heart rate stay up for a much longer period of time mm. so good estimate is to uh, check your resting heart rate um, the second that you wake up don't even move uh, if you have what you can do is you could uh, put your two index your two index finger and your middle finger right on your wrist and you should feel the pulse. So just watch the clock for 10 seconds, multiply it by six and your resting heart rate, that's your true resting heart rate is when you first wake up in the morning. Okay. So don't move, check that out really quick, uh, multiply it by 10, but it should be a good resting heart rate, should be in the um, low to mid fifties, maybe even the low sixties. But at anything above that, we're starting to get your heart rate is uh, your resting heart rate is too high, meaning that your cardiovascular isn't very good. We need to bump that up. Okay. But the more you exercise with these kind of hard workouts where you're breathing heavy, the, the better your cardiovascular is going to get. Okay. Okay. 